we're still in the bedroom and I'll take you uh, a quick uh, meander round and show you the orchids. This is a calendar Keith had done for me from uh, our trip in Disney. So uh, that's uh, that will be going up on the wall and uh, if I can just zoom round here. It's very sunny actually. So I wanted just to show you that's the Dendrowin Thesithorum. This is what I mean about the winter sunshine. The dens absolutely love it. And uh, there we go. Let's just take you around here. Gosh, the sunlight's really um, strong today. And there are the uh, two King's It Red Splash. And I'll just take you now round into the um, into the orchid room. So when I did my video yesterday, and uh, that little um, one I mounted, I'll, t I'll show you in a minute in the orchid room. Well, I had one of my subscribers, and he thinks I've got the wrong label on it. And actually, you know, he's right. So um, sometimes, you know what I mean. Um, your subscribers can spot these little mistakes and I'm so thankful to Herbert. So I'll take you into the other room now. So this is the one he was talking about. The one I mounted yesterday. And uh, I have to be careful because clumsy hands. And uh, see I've got the wrong label on it. So I've put the new label on now. And uh, there we go. At least that one's now I know you know the correct the, the correct name for that little species. Now we've got an awful amount of sunshine coming in here this morning. But um I'll just scan round for you. These new it's very awkward, isn't it, when the sun's out like this? That new growth there on that male tassia. Look how big that's grown. And uh, the one on the uh, Sologeny. You remember that, that fowl there and it is uh, sending other shoots up. So uh, that's the Oncidium. Anyway, it's only a, a pan round just to uh, just to give you a view before 2017's over. There's a couple there, the desiccated cat layers. I really must uh, give them a water today. See, they've got new growth on. I just need to get them back to some kind of strength. And if we go this way, it's going to be dead awkward now. Let me just see if I can... Hold on. There we go. There's that little mini phalaenopsis. Let me just see. I've really got the light against me here. I don't know whether it's affecting you the same, but uh, it's certainly affecting me. Anyway, so she's got another bud opening there. And uh, where can I put her now without doing too much damage. There we go. I'll put it down there. You know when you see little blooms like that, it doesn't matter how small they are, it just lifts your spirit. Right, so let's just give you a quick pan round. I can say these are the, that's the mounted one I did yesterday. That's one in recovery, but, you know, I'm not giving up on it. There's the Selogeny. And there's the other big one. Like this big white one I've got here. That's um, that's one of the sisters, so uh, hopefully 
that might give us some flower buds next year and uh, just generally all in all everything is catching that winter sun the hollow blossom there that's sending new shoots out and uh, the cat layers these are the um, Dendrobium polyanthum. I've got them mounted now. And uh, that's the other cat layer there. Let's take it that way. This is the uh, Dendrobium allen. I don't know if I take you that way. It's very awkward because of the sun. But you'll see the amount of light that they're all getting there and uh, that's the the one upon, um, the two are mounted on the uh, bamboo board let's just see if I can get it in there and that's the uh, there the big den the big white dendrobium oh I've just brought up on the windowsill I've had them here for two or three days now like I've explained to you I do bring and rotate some of the orchids round and um, that's the uh, Restopoides, the Plorothallis I brought them onto the windowsill just to get a little bit of sunlight and uh, there's those little dendrobiums and uh, what else have I done? oh this is on the, the top shelf here that's um, a dendro uh, sorry, a phalaenopsis there. That's probably in the rescue mode. That's my Pathiopedalum, getting a lot of light. That's my uh, species Sologeny. Don't know what that's doing at the moment. I need to check that over. That's my big Angraecum, my long-suffering friend. Let's hope uh, she has forgiven me now. She has sent me out two or three leaves this year. And here we go here, those are the frags, down on this shelf here, not a lot there, you see there's lots of space for more orchids, but I don't want to get more orchids at the moment, I just really want to get these that I've got, that's one of the other sisters, and I need to get them to full strength. Go down on the bottom, there's uh, the African violet. Some of the seedlings, not seedlings, that's the uh, little axle, and those are some of the leaves. And then we've got a phalaenopsis up in that corner. Let's take you back over here, and there's the adenium, that's the, the desert rose, that's just in its sleep mode. There's my little dendrobium lodogesi, that's the cat layer. At the back, Seagull's Gem, that I've mounted. That's the other part of the one I mounted yesterday, the LC Berman's or Palm. And those are the two Sologenies. And uh, I've just brought the uh, species Pathiopedalum down and put her in this one as well. So I can just, she gets more light here and I can just keep my eye on her and then. So all in all, we're going to bid 2017 as far as the orchids are concerned. A fond farewell and hopefully come next year, 2018, we'll have a lot more healthy hall. Orchids, excuse me. So again, my friends, do enjoy the festivities tonight if you uh, are, though, are inclined. Keith and I usually go to bed the normal time and then we get woken up with all the fireworks going off and all the festivities. Oh! to just go down into this bottom shelf because I always forget this shelf. This is um, one of my phalaenopsis there. I've just got in semi-water culture. Um, that's the little uh, phalaenopsis perishii. That's another little no idea over there. And uh, 
that's it folks. Looking forward to 2018. Bye for now.